Hey guys, welcome back to the Rocky Fern. My name is Luca, I have OI Type 4, and in today's Show Me the Green, we got the Alocasia Stingray. So the Alocasia Stingray, it's such a cool plant. Um, I won this plant um, because I guessed, um, I played a game with Belief Tropicals out of Florida on uh, Instagram Live, and they asked where was the origin, what was the country of origin for this particular cultivar? And I guess Borneo, I guess a bunch of other names too, but I guess Borneo and that was the first um, correct answer. So they sent this plant to me and I actually, at first I wasn't too enthralled with getting the um, Stingray, um, but now that I have it, and it's produced probably five leaves in my care, six leaves, it's so cool, I love it. It's a very easy plant. It's kept in my homemade pond mix in a container that I, or in a pot that I've drilled a hole out. And I water it once or twice a week. Same diluted um, feed that I always do. And it's just been kicking butt. It's kept under a GE grow light, uh, a pendant light. And um, I'll put a photo of the stems, the petioles rather, and they are similar to the Alocasia zebrina, but instead of having definitive stripes, um, it's more of just like this mottled color, and it's really pretty. It adds a nice contrast to the leaves themselves. Now this is a cultivar of the Alocasia macrorhizae, and macrorhizae means large root, and that refers to the fact that this plant and most alocasia are grown for their edible root. Um, it does have calcium oxalates in it, um, crystals rather, calcium oxalate crystals, which if not treated correctly can cause vomiting, mouth irritation, nausea, diarrhea. So, you know, um, when you eat like lao lao or poi, which are local Hawaiian dishes, and you undercook the kalo or the taro, you can have a very itchy mouth or kind of an upset stomach. So these guys do produce very large roots and actually the macrorhizae plant itself can get huge. I mean, up to 30 feet tall, um, 15 foot spread, leaves that are five feet big. Um, so they can get really big. The other name for them is elephant ear and it's because a lot of alocasias get huge leaves um, that resemble an elephant ear. And one thing I found interesting in my research is alocasia is also known as the tree that grows to the heavens and they suspect that this plant or the alocasia plant rather is um, the plant that was in Jack and the Beanstalk. So you can imagine trying to climb an enormous alocasia get to the heavens and you know raid a giant's house uh, which we shouldn't do anymore. Just kidding. Uh, anyway the alocasia macrorhizae stingray it does look like a stingray. Um, here in Hawaii we would call it a hihimanu and it's more like the manta ray and it does have this really pretty long tail, kind of these big wings. Um, I don't know how big this plant's going to get so I'm excited to see that happen. Um, but it's been an awesome plant to keep. I really really enjoy it. You know some plants you don't think you're necessarily, necessarily going to like but then you get them in person and they just start kicking butt for you and they look so good and yeah, I, I love it. It's got three individual plants in it and it's gonna produce other corms and it's gonna be awesome to keep. So follow along for more updates on this plant and all my others in the collection. And uh, if you like what you see, make sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next adventure.